So obviously I am supposed to start now. Dear President of the University, Stefan Palage, dear Vice President, Catherine Leglu, dear students, dear colleagues, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my very pleasure to welcome you today to the graduation ceremony for the master degrees of the Faculty of Humanities, Education and Social Sciences, as well as for the degrees of the Formation Continue of our faculty. First of all, congratulations to all of you to this momentous occasion. You have finished your studies successfully and you did this partly under very difficult circumstances. In fact, it has been you as students who have often been forgotten amidst all the corona-related re restrictions. You suffered during the lockdown because not only was it impossible to meet friends, even learning together could only take place in front of your laptop. The world consisted only of small boxes on the screen in which one could see one's friends and relatives in front of real or virtual backgrounds. On top of that, many of you lost your student jobs, which often resulted in a precarious financial situation. To successfully complete your studies under such circumstances is a very special achievement, and I would like to sincerely congratulate you to this. With the degree you have obtained at the University of Luxembourg, many opportunities are now open to you. Some of you will now leave the university to enter the labor market. Others have decided to remain true to science and are starting a PhD. But no matter which path you take, I am convinced that we have trained you well here at our faculty. And my thanks, therefore, go first to the program directors of our programs, as well as to all the lecturers who teach in these programs with great dedication. I would also like to thank the study program secretaries and coordinators, without whom we all would be hopelessly lost in the administrative processes and the daily nitty-gritty. Not without reason, they can be called the true soul of our study programs, and I would like to thank you very much for what you have done and what you are doing every day. Dear graduates, as you received your hard-earned diplomas, it is time to reflect on the opportunities and challenges that lie ahead. One of the most significant opportunities of our time is, of course, the digitalization of the world around us. The rise of technology has opened up wealth of new possibilities for communication, collaboration, and innovation. The master students from the humanities and social sciences, as, as master students uh, from the humanities and social sciences, you are well positioned to take advantage of these opportunities and make a real impact in the world. Your backgrounds in the disciplines of our faculty have equipped you with the critical thinking, communication, and problem-solving skills that are essential in today's world. These skills are highly valued by employers across a wide range of industries from education and government to business and technology. But with every opportunity comes a challenge, and the digital world is no exception. The rapid pace of change can be overwhelming, and it can be difficult to keep up with the latest technologies and trends. It is important to stay curious and continue learning throughout your careers so that you can adapt and thrive in this ever-involving landscape. As you embark on your next steps, remember that the possibilities are endless. Whether you choose to pursue a career in academia, the public sector, the private sector, or something else entirely, the skills and knowledge you have gained during your time at this institution will serve you well. And to conclude, I will leave you with a few words of wisdom from a remarkable person, Nelson Mandela. He once said, Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. This quote is not only true for the next generation, but also for you. Education is the key to unlocking our potential and achieving our goals. It provides us with the knowledge and skills that we need to succeed in life, and it helps us to think critically and to solve problems. 
But education doesn't stop once we graduate from school or university. In today's world, things are changing so quickly that we need to continue learning throughout our lives in order to stay current and relevant. This is known as lifelong learning. And it is essential for success in a world that is constantly evolving. <coughs> lifelong learning can take many forms, from taking classes and attending workshops to reading books, yes, books, and articles to simply staying curious and open to new ideas. So my advice for you at this moment is stay curious and never stop learning. This diploma is just the beginning of an exciting journey that is ahead of you. Remember, the world is full of challenges, but with determination, hard work, and a positive attitude, you can overcome any obstacle and achieve your goals. Congratulations again to all of our graduates and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. We are honored today that our president, Stefan Palage, is with us. And before I give him the floor, I would like to take the opportunity to thank him for all his efforts he did for this university over the last five years. Many of you have heard that he is leaving again to Canada. And uh, this is, in fact, his last graduation ceremony today. And yes, it's a pleasure and an honor to have you here, Stefan. Thanks again for all your, what you've done for this university, and the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Georg. Um, I'm a big supporter of Nelson Mandela, and I think, indeed, education is, education is a weapon. It's a weapon of mass creation. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I will not be able to stay for the entire ceremony, but I wanted to come to pay tribute to our students, to our faculty, to our staff, doing an incredible job on a daily basis. I will uh, try to be multilingual. I will start in, in French. Monsieur le doyen, Madame la vice-rectrice, Mesdames, Messieurs, Moyen, good morning, guten tag. Bonjour. Très chers diplômés, cette journée est votre journée. C'est une journée de grande joie et nous sommes venus vous honorer. Cette cérémonie de remise des diplômes est certainement un moment charnière de votre vie. Au Québec, d'où je viens, on parle d'une cérémonie de collation des grades parce que, en termes académiques, nous vous décernons des grades le grade de bachelor, le grade de master ou même celui de PhD. Aujourd'hui, je pense que nous décernerons surtout le grade de master. Les Américains, eux, parlent plutôt d'une cérémonie de commencement, pour une très bonne raison. Ce n'est la fin de rien, c'est le début de tout. En ce 15 décembre 2022, nous célébrons votre réussite et tous les chemins possibles qui s'ouvrent à vous. Sachez que ces chemins sont aussi larges et aussi nombreux que vous le souhaitez. Vous avez les moyens de changer les comportements inefficaces autour de vous, faites-le. Vous avez les outils, tous les outils, pour changer le monde et pour construire un avenir meilleur, faites-le. Soyez des héros pour vos enfants, pour vos proches, pour vos amis pour votre pays. Une autre vie commence au-delà de cet amphithéâtre et croyez-moi, cette vie est absolument magnifique. Your road to today's ceremony was not an easy one. The dean mentioned it and I want to stress it again. It was in fact harder, much harder than for, mo for, for you than for most of your predecessors. You have accomplished a significant part of your studies during the worst pandemic the world has known in a hundred years. Your success is thus remarkable. It deserves the recognition of all. You have literally earned this degree, and we are very happy and very proud to confer it to you. 
Dear graduates, you enter today in a network of people that will be your most valuable team. Make sure you connect to those alumni who were sitting in this very room last year and the year before. A network is worth nothing without connections. So be active in this network. Make sure you connect to your, uh, to your peers. Help us follow your achievements. Together, we represent an incredible force. I, indeed, still have for a few days the pleasure to be the rector of the University of Luxembourg. This university is special. It is only 19 years old, but it already ranks in the top 25 universities younger than 50, according to Times Higher Education. It also ranks fourth in the world among the millennials. There is another ranking called the Leiden Ranking. Uh, in this ranking, we forget the past. The University of Luxembourg does not have 200 years of history behind her. Yet, in this ranking, we focus on the present. What is the quality of a university today? And how do we measure quality? Well, in the proportion of publications, scientific publications that we do as a university that are in the top 1% most cited in every discipline. In that ranking, the University of Luxembourg has the 54th place in the world. Well before many very famous universities like McGill, Toronto, La Sorbonne, universities of Zurich, Leuven, Amsterdam, Lausanne, and many, many others. In that same ranking, we are 16th in Europe. I think we can be proud of this university. Cette université est aussi spéciale parce qu'elle est votre université. Vous serez désormais partout et chaque jour de votre vie nos plus précieux ambassadeurs. Vous êtes, sans le savoir peut-être, déjà tatoué de ce rouge et de ce bleu qui constitue nos couleurs. J'espère que vous serez toujours fiers de l'Université du Luxembourg comme l'Université du Luxembourg aujourd'hui est fière de vous. Chers diplômés, c'est un honneur pour moi de m'adresser à vous. Je suis très fier personnellement de ce que vous avez accompli pour vous rendre ici aujourd'hui. Votre doyen partage votre fierté. Vos proches également, qui ont aussi partagé les très, 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 très nombreuses émotions qui se sont cachées derrière ce diplôme. Je vous remercie d'avoir fait confiance à notre jeune et fougueuse université. Sur le chemin qui commence aujourd'hui, n'hésitez jamais à rêver. Le monde manque cruellement de rêveurs. Le rêve est pour moi l'un des plus importants devoirs du citoyen. Bien sûr, ne vous arrêtez pas aux rêves. Faites en sorte que les meilleurs d'entre eux se réalisent. C'est la partie peut-être un peu plus difficile, mais c'est la partie à laquelle vos études universitaires et toute la résilience que vous y avez développée vous ont préparé au mieux. Je vous souhaite beaucoup de succès, je vous souhaite beaucoup de bonheur. Je vous souhaite en fait de ne jamais, jamais, jamais vous ennuyer si cela devait arriver, voyez l'ennui comme, comme un signal qu'il est peut-être temps de passer à autre chose. Die deutsche Sprache ist nicht die Sprache, mir, die mir am leichtesten fällt. Aber es ist mir wichtig, Ihnen auch auf Deutsch zu sagen, wie stolz ich bin, Sie zu unseren Absolventen zählen zu dürfen. Merci au gouvernement du Luxembourg, qui investit de façon aussi visionnaire dans l'enseignement supérieur et la recherche. C'est sans aucun doute le meilleur investissement, un investissement en vous, un investissement en votre avenir, un investissement en notre avenir collectif. C'est aussi un investissement dans la démocratie. 
plus que jamais dans ce 21e siècle de toutes les remises en question, plus que jamais les universités ont-elles un rôle important à jouer dans le fonctionnement démocratique À l'heure où la pensée critique se décline en 180 caractères, l'université assure un environnement de réflexion rigoureuse, indépendante, libre et dénuée de tout conflit d'intérêts. Elle offre un éclairage nuancé sur les grands enjeux de notre époque, établit avec rigueur ce qui est un fait et ce qui ne l'est pas, procure un avis expert sur les grands enjeux, les grands défis de la société. La vie des chercheurs du Luxembourg et de l'Université du Luxembourg en particulier a été déterminante dans la gestion de la pandémie. Nous avons la chance de vivre dans un pays qui chérit ses valeurs et qui investit dans son université. Je peux vous dire qu'il y a peu d'endroits au monde, en ce moment, où la dotation publique n'est pas en décroissance. Dans cette période de grande turbulence économique et d'inflation, le Luxembourg investit davantage dans la recherche et dans l'enseignement supérieur. C'est visionnaire, c'est remarquable, c'est franchement la meilleure politique économique qui soit. Dear graduates, on the road ahead, remember to make the most of every day. As the digital revolution will create jobs that can hardly be imagined today, remain curious, keep learning, and stay in touch with your alma mater. Life will undoubtedly take you back to school, and we, the University of Luxembourg, will be there for you. My address to you is uh, one of my last public speeches. Georg referred to this. I will soon say goodbye to this university, this university community, and I will move back to Montreal, where, where I left, uh, in fact, three children. COVID has changed distances, and it is time for my wife and myself to be back in Canada. I want to thank you for choosing our university instead of Zurich, Leuven, Amsterdam, or Paris. We appreciate your confidence, and I personally enjoyed every single minute of being your rector. Je voudrais aussi, et là, sachez que Georg et moi ne nous sommes pas coordonnés, je voudrais aussi remercier au nom de l'université et en mon nom propre, votre doyen, Georg Mein, qui a pendant dix années présidé au développement magnifique de cette faculté. Cher Georg, un grand, grand merci et bravo. Très chers diplômés, je vais m'arrêter, j'ai parlé longuement, mais je vais terminer ce speech par le seul mot qui convienne vraiment et qui s'adresse à vous. Bravo.
So, ladies and gentlemen, before you get your diplomas, we have a number of awards. Uh, so the idea is that you have to attend all the award ceremonies before you get the diplomas. You cannot leave the room, and I will explain to you the procedure after handing over our six awards. And we're starting immediately with the German Dondling Award for the best master thesis of the Faculty of Humanities, Education, and Social Sciences. The German Donlinger Award is awarded to Barbara Maroswari, Master in Social Sciences and Educational Sciences, and the prize is presented by Rick Serrano, executive, executive board member of, the, uh, of Les Amis de l'Université. And I would like to ask Rick on stage, please. Thank you, Georg. So good morning, everybody, and congratulations to all the students and all the families and all the friends uh, who are, are here today uh, to accompany the students graduating. Uh, I think it's a very special moment for everybody, as uh, both uh, the rector and Dr. Mein has mentioned before. COVID has not been easy, and now is the time to move on and really uh, deliver results now that you go into the into the real world after the university. My name is Rick Serrano. I represent the association Ami de l'Université de Luxembourg. Our main interest is, of course, to promote the university and to bring it closer to society, especially the society in Luxembourg, but basically everywhere. And uh, today I have the honor to give the prize uh, Germain Dondelinga 2022. And as anticipated, this goes to uh, Barbara Marosvari for her master's in social sciences and educational sciences. Um, Barbara has created a fantastic thesis around the concept of uh, Waldorf education, comparing it with, to other kinds of uh, education and trying to uh, provide statistical uh, support to her conclusions. That's about her thesis, but actually I think the most fascinating thing about Barbara is that her work in her thesis is very congruent with what she has been doing before, what she has been working on before and studying before, and also with her PhD, who she is uh, in progress of uh, studying, and also with a very ambitious long-term uh, goal that she has for her life, so for that, let me uh, call uh, Barbara uh, to give you the prize and please give uh, her a big round of applause.
Thank you very much uh, to the Amidil University. Now we come to the Charlemagne News Prize for the best thesis of the Master in European Contemporary History, which is awarded to Tiago Enrique Ferreira Flores uh, of the Master in European, uh, European Contemporary History. Unfortunately, Tiago cannot be present today. Nevertheless, I would like to call Valerie Schaefer on stage to say some words about the prize. Please, Valérie. Je vous remercie. Monsieur le recteur, madame la vice-rectrice, monsieur le doyen, chers collègues, chers diplômés, je suis très heureuse de remettre le prix Charlemagne, donc je commencerai par rappeler l'origine. Il est le résultat de l'obtention du European Charlemagne Youth Prize remis par le Parlement européen en 2015 aux étudiants du professeur Magirus pour leur projet « At Real Time World War I » qui consistait à raconter sur Twitter la Grande Guerre. Ce prix, généreusement reversé, a permis de créer notre prix Charlemagne qui, chaque année, récompense l'excellence d'un mémoire en histoire du euh, MAEC, notre Master en Histoire Européenne Contemporaine. Madame Kmetz, co-directrice du Master et moi-même, sommes heureuses de remettre ce prix cette année à Thiago Enrique Flores Ferreira pour son mémoire « L'industrialisation et l'évolution de la propriété foncière et immobilière, le cas de l'industrie sidérurgique à Dudelange entre 1824 et 1905 » sous la supervision de Denis Couteau. Son superviseur a salué l'important travail d'analyse de sources que Thiago a fait sur des dizaines de milliers d'actes notariés et de documents relatifs à la propriété foncière et immobilière à Dudelange. Cette étude a permis la production de nouvelles connaissances sur l'histoire du développement urbain et industriel. Il montre que, bien que la structure foncière et immobilière ait subi de nombreux changements depuis la transition industrielle, les grandes propriétés foncières sont restées concentrées au sein d'un petit groupe de propriétaires, seulement une dizaine de familles de Dudelange, situation par ailleurs assez symbolique de euh, la, la situation dans d'autres pays. À l'excellence de son mémoire, nous ajouterons son investissement constant, son implication dans l'ensemble du parcours du master, qui lui a fait produire d'autres études originales et intéressantes. Par exemple, si l'on en reste à l'analyse de grandes masses de données historiques et de vastes corpus, celles qu'il avait pu mener dans mon cours sur le Dieselgate, dont je garde un excellent souvenir. Toutes nos félicitations et nos remerciements pour la qualité de son travail à Thiago, mais aussi pour son aptitude donc à explorer de nouveaux terrains et sa créativité méthodologique. Nous lui souhaitons bien évidemment le meilleur pour la suite. Merci, Valérie. Um, Now we are coming to uh, the Prix de la Fondation du Mérite Européen. Uh, this prize is awarded to Sébastien Théron, Master in European Governance. Unfortunately, also Sébastien cannot be present. So if I would get a prize, I would be here. Oh, but that's another story. Um, the award is handed over by Jean-Marie Majerus, executive member of the Fondation du Mérite Européen. And um, Jean-Marie, please come on stage and... Madame la vice-rectrice, Monsieur le doyen, chers professeurs, chers gradués, depuis plus d'un demi-siècle, la Fondation du Mérite européen aborde sa devise toujours d'une grande actualité, vouloir l'Europe connaître ses problèmes, agir pour sa réalisation. À travers ce principe, elle associe dans les domaines politiques, culturels, sociaux, humanistes, l'intuition des fondateurs à l'audace quotidienne des artisans de la construction européenne, contribuant ainsi au renforcement des valeurs universelles que représente l'Europe dans l'intérêt des citoyens. Nous sommes tous, hélas, conscients que ces nobles valeurs européennes sont aujourd'hui menacées plus que jamais. La Fondation du mérite européen a toujours promu la conscience européenne en honorant 
les personnes qui conduisent notre histoire dans le bon sens des auteurs de ces nobles destins. Depuis plus d'un demi-siècle, la Fondation du mérite européen confère des médailles aux ressortissants des pays de l'Union européenne. De nombreux pays ont institué un ordre de mérite afin de donner à leurs citoyens et de les honorer dans ce sens. Mais la Fondation du mérite européen est le seul mérite reconnu officiellement sur une base européenne. Le rôle de cette Fondation est de répondre aux défis actuels de l'Europe en promouvant l'idéal européen, notamment parmi les jeunes membres de notre société. Depuis des années, l'Université de Luxembourg et la Fondation du mérite européen ont mis en place une coopération étroite dans le cadre de leurs missions respectives. Cette coopération a pour l'objet général d'entreprendre des activités conjointes, susceptibles de promouvoir la conscience européenne. La Fondation du mérite européen accorde donc un prix annuel aux meilleures mémoires de fin d'études master de la Faculté des sciences humaines, sciences de l'éducation et des sciences sociales, dont le sujet porte sur l'intégration européenne. Les lauréats sont proposés par l'université à la Fondation du mérite européen à pas avoir été sélectionnés selon les critères d'excellence académique en témoignage de leur engagement pour l'union des peuples de l'Europe dans la liberté, la paix et la fraternité. Alors, je félicite Sébastien Théron pour son mémoire « When the European Tectonic Move, Member States and the New European Industrial Policy Renaissance ». Malheureusement, comme vous avez pu le constater, M. Théron est absent pour le moment. Il va donc recevoir son diplôme plus tard à son retour. Je remercie pour votre attention. Merci. Now we're coming to the Translation Culture Prize, which is awarded to Olena Komiakova and Stefania Rovira Okoa, Master in Learning Communication, Multilingual and Multicultural Context. And the award is presented and handed over by Dr. Rodolfo Maslias and Mariana Nikolic from the Terminology Coordination of the European Parliament. Would like to call you on stage and say some words about the prize. We are here with uh, Mrs. Nadeshta Krasteva. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Nikolic uh, is uh, uh, not uh, is in Brussels now, working uh, for interpreting. So we are representing a team of uh, ten officials of the European uh, Parliament, offering since uh, 2013. Uh, a course uh, on translation and terminology to the Master of Communication of the University. Uh, what is very important that we also offer to our students an internship in the European Parliament. Uh, and uh, with uh, our uh, fees, we sponsor uh, the prize called Translating uh, Cultures, uh, which uh, this uh, year uh, will be awarded uh, to um, uh, Stefania Rovira Ochoa for her thesis Uh, doing family and building heritage gaze on food through communal cooking and uh, eating. Uh, a very interesting uh, subject, uh, very cultural one. And uh, I uh, invite uh, Stefania uh, to come to get this prize uh, by uh, Mrs. Krasteva. The second uh, uh, prize uh, is awarded uh, to uh, Elena Komiakova uh, on uh, a thesis related especially to uh, our institution uh, uh, called the profile of the ideal trainee in the European Parliament. And we are especially proud of it because uh, Elena, after her internship, she was selected as a trainee 
uh, in the terminology coordination unit uh, for six months, and now she, is, uh, she has started a very good career in the parliament uh, as uh, a colleague. So, uh, Elena, uh, please come to stage uh, to get your prize. Thank you very much. Two awards to go. Uh, the next award is the Award of the Société Luxembourgeoise de la Psychologie, and this is handed over by Elisabeth Steinmetz, board member of SLP. The award goes to Lisa Gilberts, and Lisa, unfortunately, cannot be present. But we have some words about the award. I feel very honored to present the SLP award this year. The award is granted by the Société Luxembourgeoise de Psychologie, SLP, the Luxembourgish Association of Psychology, in close collaboration with the study directorate of the Master of Science in Psychology, Psychological Intervention, under the direction of Professor Dr. Georges Stefken. This award is presented annually to recognize excellence and dedication of a student majoring in the Master of Science in Psychological Intervention, and who has shown an outstanding performance in their master's, in their master's thesis. Considerations include research excellence, originality, creativity, innovation, the potential for the work to have an impact on the field, and the degree to which the thesis was completed independently. The award was first handed out in 2020. Since then, the jury committee of the SLP has received a selection of candidates every year from the study directorate of the Master of Psychological Intervention. And on behalf of the SLP, I would like to thank the study directorate for their contribution and the former jury and board members of the SLP for their commitment in establishing this award. And I am pleased to announce the winner of this year's award, Lisa Gilberts, with her master thesis, Aggression Motives and Frustration and Tolerance Beliefs Are There Differences Across Bullying Subgroups? With her work, Lisa Gilberts was able to show how important it is to distinguish between different bullying roles and their association with aggress aggression motives and frustration and tolerance beliefs when it comes to developing effective intervention programs in the field of workplace bullying. As Ms. Gilberts unfortunately cannot be here today to receive the award herself, I may present the certificate to her supervisor, Dr. Philip Zischka, who will receive it on her behalf. Thank you very much. And now we have the last award, the OIE award goes to Diana Jarneshku, Master in Architecture. And the award is presented in turn over by Michel Frederici, uh, President of the Auto des Architectes des Ingenieurs. Please, uh, the stage is yours. Thank you. So, dear all, graduation marks a major transitional moment in your life. Today, we celebrate all the hard work you put into your education achievements. Congratulations to you all on reaching this momentous milestone. All the very best for your future. With all the crisis we are in, you should be aware that the architect will not run out of work. In September 2021, the European 
European Commission presented the New European Bauhaus, NEB, which combines the global vision changes for a living environment. So don't be afraid of your future. To do this, they need our brain. I would also like to briefly introduce you uh, who I represent today. I'm the president of the Order of Architects and Consulting Engineers, OIA, OAI, sorry, who was established in March uh, 1919 uh, by a law and gathered five professions. The architects, interior architects, consulting engineers, urban designers, and landscape architects. Beyond this, its mission as a legal body, OAI is also to be considered as a professional organization and institution of public interest. The number of architects' offices in Luxembourg is now about 504 offices. The number of consulting engineer offices in Luxembourg is about 214. So these uh, 718 offices employ more than 5,000 people. As the president of the OAI, I wish to send a positive signal, stressing that even though we are living in uncertain times, the members of the OAI with a holistic view are trained professionals, responsible and perfectly able to design suitable projects, being aware of their freedom of proposal and their courage in the choices they make. They are role models in proposing a sustainable development of our society for future generations. And now, I'm honored to announce the OAI award winner of the Master in Architecture this year for Diana Sanescu. <laughs> the master thesis project, Non-Human Roots, you, you, can, you can come, you can come. <laughs> Non-Human Roots is a project about creating spaces of negotiation between the human environment and other life forms. Congratulations, Diana, for your outstanding academic uh, record. My best wish for your promising prof professional career. Your life will become more challenging, competitive and hectic, but I'm sure you'll jump over it any hardly with ease. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. 
So, dear students, now we come over to the uh, conferment of the master degrees, and I explain you how we organize this. There's a certain very complicated choreography behind that, right? So, um, first of all, I call the master program on stage, and then all students, all students of that related master program are coming together on the blue, on the blue carpet, the blue one. You're waiting there. You do not move. <laughs> then my assistant, uh, Daniel Schwirz Lejeune, will read out your names loud. You pass by on the red carpet, you pass by. In the middle of the carpet, there's a vice president waiting for you, the course director, and myself. And then we're handing over your diploma. It will not take long. You pass by, and then you go over there to this beautiful person, and you you sign that you got your diploma. Then you wait there. You wait there until everyone has passed by. After that, we call you back on the red carpet. We group together and make a picture. And now the advantage is there is a program always ahead you can learn by seeing. And the first program I call on stage is the Master in Architecture. Um, the study program directors are unfortunately not here. I call on stage the Master in Architecture on the blue carpet. Blue carpet. <laughs> Daniel, you're joining us here. Christos Floros. <applaudissements> Nadzanin Mirsharifi. <applaudissements> Fredson Oliveira Monteiro. Piotr Pavlizin. Calpana Piadigamage. Simona Popova. Matab Sharabi Muhammad Shoyaib Alborz Teimorza de Baboli Marina Ivora Diana Zarnescu
Very good. Congratulations for the first master. Now we come to the master of science and psychology, psychological intervention. I would like to call on stage the students and the study program director, Josh Stefken. Students on the blue carpet. Daniel. Bering. <laughs> Katharina Dinscher. <laughs> Charlotte Duske. Sissi Gallus. Brenda Gilson. Rianne Grevius. Louise Natusius. <laughs> Isham Quintarelli. <laughs> Louisa Tönnesen. Nora Welter. <laughs> Aileen Yildiz. Felicitations to the master students in psychological intervention. We come to the next, next program, which is the master in modern and contemporary European philosophy. I would like to call the students on stage, Blue Carpet, and Frank Hoffmann, study program director, please join us. Stanislav Akopian. <laughs> jo Yi Hoon. <laughs> 
Esther Kim. Patricia Mendes Ferreira. Vanessa Mendes Ferreira. Kieran Salt. Congratulations to the students of contemporary European philosophy. Now we come to the master in psychotherapy. I would like to join the students here on stage, master in psychotherapy. Do we have students? Well, there's one. And uh, Klaus Högele, is Klaus Högele with us? No. Then. <laughs> Mr. Salek, this is you. Yeah, Shayan Satra Salek. Well. Quick one. Die nächsten Studenten sind vom Trinationalen Master Literatur, Kultur und Sprachgeschichte des deutschsprachigen Raums. Die Studierenden, die hier sind, bitte kommen Sie zu uns auf den blauen Teppich und Oliver Kohns, wenn er denn hier ist. He's not there. Naomi Berendt. <laughs> Sandy Heap. Das nächste Programm ist der Master in Theaterwissenschaft und Interkulturalität. Die Studenten des Masters in Theaterwissenschaft bitte auf die Bühne und der Kursdirektor Dieter Heimböckel auch hier. <lacht> Musik 
Corina Ostafi Steinmetz. Noémie Prim. Stéphanie Reuter. avec le master en médiation, uh, les étudiants de master en médiation et le cours de directeur Claude Ousmane. Voilà, oui, ça. Estella Bonne Samaniego. Mélanie de Mur. So don't get us wrong, uh, the programs have, of course, far more students, huh? but not everyone can attend uh, at this early time. Um, so that's why sometimes only very few showing up. We come now to the Master en Histoire Européenne Contemporaine. I would like to call the students on stage and Valérie Schäfer and Sonja Kmetsch to join me here on stage. Bouchama. Bavo de Verman. Joe Dizeviscourt. Lisa Gardin. Marc Gori. Maurice Kriger. Martine Leclerc. Kim Monteiro de Jesus. Mandy Nourissier.
Loris Pagnani. Jessica Pereira Neves. Alma Sabotic. Komi Chassi. Johanna van der Kerken. Félicitations to the uh, students of uh, the Master in Histoire Européenne. Now we come to the Master en Études Parlementaires. I would like to call the students on stage and the study program director, Philippe Poirier. He is already here. That is great. So please come to this blue carpet and we call your names. <laughs> Marta Cacciatore Mamadou Kindi Diallo Maria Mariana Gansiu Maida Jabrayoui. Léonie Klaas. Mary Mkitarian. Ndiaye Ndjoyi Ndjour. Voilà. Claire Poumara. William Alexandre Toublan. Congratulations to the master students en études parlementaires. And now we come to the master in geography and special planning. I would like to ask the students from the master in geography and special planning on stage, as well as the study program director, Catherine Jones. Thank you. 
So the geographers are all entered the labor market, so they're working at this time. Uh, one could make it. This is Vivian Agre. Felicitations. Now we come to the mass and European governance. European governance the students, please come on stage as well as the study program director Annalena Hügenauer. Adrovic. <applaudissements> Laurinas Bagdonas. <applaudissements> Margot Bouchez. Mia Cepina. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Now we come to the Master in Social Sciences and Educational Sciences. The Master in Social Sciences and Educational Sciences. And I would like also to call Justin Powell, Studying Program Director, on stage. Zeynep Jirai Ozoskun. Robert Holden. Aida Karimi. Laurent Langehegaman. Barbara Marosveri. <laughs> Shaed Parnian. Joana Vasquez Quintela Lucas. Usan Nejazi.
So, felicitations. And now we come to the Master Management and Coaching in Bildungs- und Sozialwesen. Uh, die Studenten des Programms bitte auf den blauen Teppich. Und Jean-Marie Weber. Der Study Program Director. Ja, wann? Bermes. Joël Bernard. Nina Biren. Lisa Ann Bosa. Marilène Brito. Mandy Defay. Monique Diederich. Christian Even. Mike Hacker. Carole Jazz. Christina Kremer. Mara Kroth. Kim Melchers. Claude Reuter. Judith Rich. Martine Zassel. Lynn Steffen. Laura Welter. Herzlichen Glückwunsch noch einmal an die Studierenden des Master Management and Coaching. Now we come to the Master of Science and Psychology Evaluation and Assessment. And I would like to ask Claude again on stage and the students. Marie Auger. Yeah. 
Keideson Gomez de Moura Pereira. Robin Leck. Robin. Elsa Laite Gonçalves. Janine Léonard. Michael Mpoutou. Vanessa Souza Ribeiro. Camille Turc. Sarah Villaverde. Félicitations à les étudiants du Master de Sciences um, Psychology. And now we come to the Master en Enseignement Secondaire, Filière Langue Littérature Allemande, also die Deutschstudenten des uh, Master en Secondary Education, zusammen mit Till Dembeck, dem Programmdirektor, wenn Till hier ist. Ansonsten übernehme ich das. Alma Adjar Pazic. Ayla Bajrami. Sami Bouraoui. Kim Brahman. Claire Braconnier. Loris Caponi. Jennifer Da Silva Guedes Torrego. Joanne Lehnen. Philippe Nicolet. Claudine Schaber. Oh, pardon. Claudine Chabert. Lara Charlet. Applaudissements 
Adriano Scotodiperta. Herzlichen Glückwunsch an die Studenten Longue Literature Allemande im Master Second Education. Now we come to the next filière, uh, which is uh, Longue Literature Française. Um, and I would like to call the students on stage together with Tonja Raus. Alicia Agresta. <laughs> Melanie Fernandez. <laughs> Sandrina Fernandez Nunez. Lea Holzmer. Adelisa Kozar. Loris Rendine. Yasmin Saadani. Felicitations, and now we come to the next filière in the Master en Enseignement Secondaire, which is Letzebox Studies, and I would like to call the students on stage and Peter Gillis. Sarah Mirti. Julie Oestreicher. Nathalie Rutgers. Jenna Schmitz. Chiara Steichen. <clears throat> K 
Cosimo Sulia. Noemi Wilmes. So, felicitations. And now we come to the master in learning and communication, multilingual and multicultural contexts. So, the students from this program, please come on stage together with Gabriele Budach as program director. Nargis Alak Barova. Eleni Batatoli. Samuel Baikara. Ryan Baikara. Samuel Brefo. Anna Canton Amela. Tukche Ersem Isaacs. Melanie Fernandez Navala. <applaudissements> Olga Golubeva. <applaudissements> Lingail Keretite. Olena Komiakova. Zaskia Knottenbelt. Aldina Latic. Alizé Mott. <applaudissements> Roline Nguéni. <applaudissements> Stefania Rovira Okoa. Constantina Stergiu. Margot Zofoli.
So that was the last master program. We have now three formations continue to go, and the first one is the certificate, uh, the certificate in sustainable development and social innovation. Um, I would like to call the students from the certificate in sustainable development on stage, together with the program director Ariane König. Jennifer Feschuk. Maria Guimaraes Pellegrini Kelleger. Anna Ikonomu. Sinan Kasamani. <laughs> Roxana Malina Mironescu. <laughs> Maria Papadopoulou. So now we come to the Formation Continue en Langue Culture et Société Italienne, and I would like to ask the students from the Formation Continue on stage, together with the course director, Claudio Cicotti. Michelle Bacchus. Anna Barbosa Clerc Rock. Vincenzo Lo Monaco. Daniela Zaki. Alice Skiba. Sani Vitri. Now we come to the last program of today's graduation ceremony, which is the Formation Continue Letzteburger Sprache Kultur. 
And I would like to ask the students from this formation on stage, together with Melanie Wagner, if she's around. No? Well then, we do it. Tiziana Caruso. No. Vanessa Seolin. Joël Bachera. We are nearly done, let's say five minutes before the Cremant, but I'm, I'm really thankful that you, that you still are here and around and pay attention. Well, first of all, I have to mention that there is a graduation survey which will be, uh, which will be uh, sent to you, I think, uh, via email, and it is for us very important that all graduates uh, give a feedback, right? I mean, we, we want to improve. We want, to, we want to do better, um, and, and you can help us. Yeah? So if you participate in that survey, we have the possibility to improve. So please take this serious. Do not move it to your spam, and uh, simply answer. That would be great. And now uh, I hand over to Andy Adams, who is our alumni specialist for, yeah, some words and some uh, ideas about our alumni association. And then we have a last video, some music, and then we are done. So. It's quite a challenge to have a presentation that's A, G, and B, C at the same time. So A, G is after Georg, and B, C is before Kremel. So I have a bit of a quiz for the audience, for the graduates here. Who knows what they want to do with their life? Raise your hand. It's pretty good. Who doesn't know what they want to do with their life yet? Well, when I got this job two years ago, it was the first time I had the feelings like, yeah, that's what I want to do with my life. But I enjoyed everything on the way. There were two things I did want to do with my life when I graduated, though. The first one is play basketball. The second one was find a job where I didn't have to wear a tie. I was successful for four years on that, then I was an utter failure for 25 years, then I was successful again for four years, and now I'm unsuccessful but only one week a year, so it's okay. And the second one, basketball, that just ended this year after all of these years, and it's Lori's fault, one of our graduates in the audience, one of my teammates, because when, when I was younger, I used to make the shots. Then I got older and I started missing shots, and he would get all the rebounds, and then he stopped getting the rebounds, and I figured it's time to stop. So your time at the University of Luxembourg may be over as students or may not if you're continuing to study, but it's just beginning the uh, rest of your lives as alumni. And when you started your master's programs, the alumni program didn't exist yet. So now you're graduating, and the alumni program is well on its way to existing. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it today. You should have already received an email invitation to register for the network, and 270 of you have taken advantage of that already, which is great. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it now. And it starts with email. 
you're the first graduating the class that has the option of getting an alumni email address. And if you want to, migrating your student inbox to your new alumni inbox. But, but don't be too hasty on that one. I forgot to mention it the entire week and I had an angry mail this morning. We're doing all this manually at the moment, so it takes time, so expect a New Year's present if you ask for an alumni email address. So please be patient. But the email is just the beginning. We want to be there for our graduates every step of the way. And we developed the Grad Pack, which is a series of benefits and services that will help you get a, you're adapted to the professional world and also welcome you to the alumni community. So I think you should see on screen a slide coming up with a bunch of logos. Um, the first thing we looked at, we said, what are the university services that would make sense to see if we can extend to our graduates? And so the university there, for example, you'll still have access to the job teaser platform and the career center. Uh, you'll have discounted courses for continuing education with the competence center or Chinese courses with the Confucius Institute. And it's a myth that all entrepreneurs study business because there are entrepreneurs in the audience here. And if you have an entrepreneurial bent, you can take advantage of the services offered by the entrepreneurship program and the incubator as alumni. Now, the second set of partners is a series of industry partnerships that we've done with networking and service organizations in Luxembourg. No matter what you do in your life, whether you know it now or not, networking is a really important thing. But, and Luxembourg is a great place to do it. You just need to have access to these organizations, which is usually on the, usually only on the basis of a corporate membership. So what the Alumni Network has done is we've become the corporate member, and you, as our graduates, have access to these organizations either for discounted or free membership. And there's a wide variety there, so please, uh, when you get your registration, you get an email with all the details, please check into them, because there'll be definitely one that should be interesting for you. Now, the third thing that's interesting, of course, is staying informed once you graduate and you're not in the university environment anymore. So, if you prefer, if you speak English, so if you prefer le français, or sollten Sie lieber auf Deutsch lesen, you'll find a media partner for you for a discounted subscription on screen. Now, one other thing we, that happened a couple years ago when I started this job was, Georg, in one of the first meetings, was like, why can't we buy university hoodies? And I said, I'll get back to him on that. Uh, and I found out that you could, but you had to be on campus at an event, like Welcome Day, to get one. So in the last three months, the university has launched with a local partner in Bertrand two online collections, one with the university logo and one with the new alumni logo, uh, just in time for the holidays. So you can get your alumni merchandise now online and deliver it home if you're no longer in Luxembourg. And last but not least, in 2023, we're really going to take flight with the alumni network and all of our manual processes where it takes weeks to get an email address and things like that will be a thing of the past. The bottom right on the screen, you'll see a mock-up of our new alumni website and portal, which will also include mobile apps, which will be launching in 2023, so you can look forward to that. But alumni is not only about receiving, it's also about giving. And when you register for the alumni network, you're actually giving back to the university by staying engaged. When you respond to the graduate survey, which Georg mentioned, you're actually giving back to the university through your feedback. And we wanted to find a way to, I would say, recognize and reward this in initial engagement as alumni. And last year we worked with a student delegation, I think Sandy's here somewhere, was on the student delegation. Uh, we worked to create a class fund to reinvest in the university based on the delega uh, student delegation's priorities. And we're going to do the same thing in 2022. How it works is very, very simple. When you register for the alumni network, when you fill out the graduate survey, the university will put five euros into the class fund. So 270 students already registered or graduates. Actually, it's 277, because they had seven this morning. So anyway, over 1,300 euros has already been raised for the class fund to reward that engagement. So congratulations on your graduation. Um, I say often building an alumni network is like a PhD. So if we're going into year three now, I'm halfway through really count on you as our pioneering members to help me build this alumni network uh, in the years to come. And Georg mentioned a video, so on screen now you'll see a video about the graduate survey. So please enjoy the video. Thank you very much, and I look forward to talking to you at the reception afterwards. The reason why your feedback matters is because it will also benefit the later generations of students. Next year students, the year after, 
We can tell them how well you've done. We've got you as a contact. We've also got the fact that your feedback will help us to adjust those programmes, the programmes that you've done. Congratulations to all our new PhD graduates. Well done. I am sure you have a lot of points to discuss with us, to give us feedback about your doctoral studies. So, now is the time to do exactly this. Let us know what did you like during the four years at our university. Did you like your academic environment? Did you benefit from the course offer to collect your ECTS points? And what about your PhD supervisor? Did he or she give you a lot of good and valuable guidance? There's also more personal reasons. For example, are your language skills the ones that you needed? Thinking about your own career progression, did you aim to stay in Luxembourg? Have you been able to stay in Luxembourg? If not, are you finding jobs in the greater region? Are you finding jobs in other countries? If you have graduated from our university, you will receive the survey at two points in time. For the first time, you will receive the questionnaire six months after graduation, and it will be in December of the year when you are graduating. Then you will receive the second questionnaire one year and a half after graduation, you will receive an invitation to the survey to your private email address. We really appreciate your feedback. It's very valuable and important to us. We are proud of your success. We need your input to help us say what your successes are and to also help others to be successful in the future. Merci beaucoup. Vielen Dank. Vielmals merci. Isn't gonna better until you feel the same. Well, it makes you easy while you know you got someone to play. You say, One love, one life. When it's right, me. We got to share it Live your baby If you don't care Yeah, I'll the poems you Well, everybody passed in the bar house Hollow, and you want me to go without? Well, it's too late until night. You drive the bus down to the light. We're wrong, we're in a, not the same. We get to carry each other, carry each other. Merci beaucoup. Cosmic Click, great job. Great job. So, before you all start leaving the room, let me say again a word. Thanks uh, for being here. Congratulations again to all the graduates. Good luck in all your future endeavors. And uh, there is a reception in the Maison des Arts et des Étudiants. You just have to leave that building. And then on the left, you see this beautiful big thing uh, where some uh, signs that will guide you there. Maybe let me close with just one personal remark. Um, this was my last graduation ceremony. I'm doing this now for 10 years. I uh, was dean here for 10 years. My 
Monday dance in February. I just want to say it was a pleasure to serve the faculty. It was a pleasure to work for you, and thanks for all your support, and thanks also to the students for always uh, having feedback and uh, the good collaboration. I uh, hope to see you now for Cremont, and all the best for you. Merry Christmas, and have a good start in the next year. Thank you. <laughs>